Here is a picture from Jay Maine. Jessica Noble, thank you for sending this in. This a uh, place where we, uh, that's a snow shovel, Sam, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's got an entirely full with golf ball size hail. So just let that sink in for a minute there of how much hail Jessica shoveled in her yard today. And you can go to my social media for more pictures of that. And thank you for sending all those in. But we're still in severe weather mode here as it's Penobscot County tornado possible. That's the one that I'm keeping a close eye on. It's still included inside this entire watch box. That's what you see here. So we're not done. If you're in this watch box all the way from Presque Isle down south and west, you are still under the threat for severe weather. There's still a watch up, not a warning for you, but a watch. So we'll go through that once again. This is Penobscot County wind speed up to 60 mile per hour, hail about one inch and it could be a tornado with this cell. Now it is moving off to the east. Let's head down now, do a little radar tour, get you through the state and southern coast hasn't seen much of anything yet today. There are showers over in New Hampshire in Rochester, but not making a lot of progress as they come into your county. Give it some time. I'm not overly concerned with those because of the onshore flow. People have been asking me about Oxford, about Bridgeton, not seeing a lot of shower activity here. You have to head up to Livermore Falls and Jay again, where we had that hail move through earlier today. That was where that picture was from. And over towards Rangeley, all clear, had a tornado warning in Rangeley yesterday, not today. So it's been a busy weekend. Over towards Dover, Foxcroft, all clear, but it's south and east of that. This is where that cell is that I'm watching very closely as it pushes towards the east in Bradford. So this one you have to really keep a close eye on. I'd go ahead and get in the basement just in case. Might as well just wait out the storm in there. And I've got a lot of messages on Facebook today about what about down east? What's going to happen here? Well, not a lot right now. We have the onshore flow, so I'm not worried about severe weather in Bar Harbor and Ellsworth just yet. The rain's trying to advance from the west. Now, once this all moves out, what about tomorrow at the coast? How about temperatures in the 50s to 60s? We'll take it, right? I mean, this is much quieter. Humidity comes way down tomorrow, too. Inland, 50s to near 70. Sun mixed with clouds looks quite good. And your hour-by-hour -hour forecast is featuring that line is not done at 7 o'clock. Notice that line is pushing in from the west. And even the southern coast could get in on this. For the Mariners, two to four feet in the forecast as we get into tomorrow. Water is 52. For the coast, you're taking a look at temperatures that you know, cool off a bit. We'll take 60s instead of 70s or, well, we didn't quite get the 80s to the coast today, thankfully. And how about inland? The rain returns by Thursday and Friday, but before that looks pretty good. And then uh, the weekend, we're back in the 70s. So things are going to quiet down after this event, but we're not done yet. So right. I would stay with the social media, stay on News Center mm -hmm. throughout the night until about 10, 11 o'clock before the all clear is given. Great, yeah, we will be on air back at 11, but follow Jason, follow us on social media, and we will be tracking those storms for the next few hours. Jason, thank you.